Welcome to another Computer Tutoring Outlook training session. And this time we're just going to have a look at how to create the From drop-down list in the Outline Outlook web application. That's the online version. Um, so there's a new one and there's an older one as well. We're just going to go through the different ways of doing it. What do I mean? Well, you're on Outlook here. When you click on New ma Mail, you get a new message appear. You get this little From drop-down message. You can have different email addresses. You can delete these old ones here. Uh, that's great. And usually uh, you can go up to uh, options and click on from and choose your BCC there as well and bring them on. However, swap to the online version, uh, which is great. Uh, if I just swap there and then I think, yeah, great. I put a new email in and yeah, the, the from doesn't exist, does it? It's not there. <laughs> so what do you do? Well, after a little while, then you probably work out that you can click on this drop down list up here. Um, and then go show from or if you're in the pop-out window here there's a little drop down list at the bottom somewhere over here uh, if I can find that sorry down here and then you can use show from and you can get the from messages just up here like so okay uh, of course if I go back here and new it's it's not gone again so it's like oh it's such a pain so first thing and also when I do click on the from just here click on the drop down list there's nothing else there so we want to add things to that list so this video will show you how to add things to the list very straightforward so the first thing is let's deal with this from drop down list to make sure it's always there very handy so for instance i've got simon at computertutoring.co.uk say for instance i want to send an email on behalf of somebody else or i want to use our info account or an inquiry account i can do that just by clicking on the drop down list so first thing to do that um, let's make sure we let's, let's, let's get the from button up there first so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the settings button at the top so give that a click okay uh, I'm going to just go scroll all the way down to and choose the mail options here at the bottom so give that one a click is it in this one here yeah so it's under message formats you can see my talking so here we go message format so if we go to message format so that's great so we go to mail and then over here on the left hand side if we scroll down and then we click on message format so that's message format just here that's great so once we've done that we can click on always show from okay click on save and then we've always got that from button there at the top excellent and then we can start you know we can start editing that great so um, how do I act, add extra stuff in this from list? Well, what you would do is you'd right click on the name here uh, and let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see. So I'd right click on the name and I click on remove so it's ready to type. And then very carefully, I'm gonna type in, uh, in there we go, I N. this is the email address I want. So I'm gonna click on that. That's fantastic, so that's already done. So now uh, if I, I must make sure I send an email in this. Like if I click off and I do nothing or I discard it, and say discard and then I just do another one hopefully you see I, well, I hope but it wasn't there so I must send that email so if I go up and if I go to remove and then I can go to info at and there's info at computer tutoring here and I can send it to myself just to Simon at there we go and then just test oops there we go and then send that so I'll get my email here through to myself which is great but the beauty is now if I add in a new email I can click on the drop down list and you see I've got info I can decide who I want to send that email from fantastic hope that makes sense so um, it's going to always be up there and you can do that now there is a new version of Outlook look on the block um, if I just get rid of the settings over here and then if we go back here uh, there's a little slider button. I don't know if you've seen it at the top here. Uh, by the time I get this video out, and uh, it's probably all on this version, so I'm just going to show you this version straight away, and you probably fast forward to it. So this is the new version of Outlook. So how, what do I need to do for that? Well, um, when I click on new message, oh, it's remember the old version, and it's got drop down lists as well, and it's got other email address, which is good. This might change as Microsoft updates the new version of Outlook, so that would be quite good. Uh, so how do I change that? Going to my settings and uh, I can scroll all the way past all of the lovely uh, view settings here in Outlook and I can go down to view all Outlook settings here at the bottom uh, and, and then over on email and I believe this one here it was, uh, was it compose and reply 
uh, there was an option there. There it is, always show from. So it's under email over here, just here. Then com compose and reply, as you can see that, just here. There we go. And then all the way down to the bottom here, we got always show from, so you can do that one there. Fantastic. I hope that makes sense. Uh, make sure that's ticked inside. There's no need to change that. I mean, I can change that and back, and but it's no need to change that because from's there. And exactly the same as this. If I want to now add another email address, I can go to other email address and choose that there. That looks a little better and a little easier uh, to do that. So I can uh, then decide if I want to send from another email address, it will be there. And is it in the link? Oh, again, I probably have to send it as well to, um, to somebody to include that in that list. Brilliant. So I hope that makes sense. Um, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Click on the subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up if you've got anything out of this video. Please, uh, uh, if you've got any comments or any suggestions of any videos that you would like to see, then let us know and just we'll see if we can get around to them. One more thing. Thank you so much for watching.